Do you remember this? It is my box full of hand spindle spun yarns. And today we are going to turn them into something wearable. And I already said in the video of the making of that yarn, my main idea is a hat. I have been eyeing the Musselberg hat that I was thinking of the Musselberg hat. And I thought the Musselberg because I saw Drikje Nitz make a Musselberg hat out of hand spun yarn over on Instagram. And then a couple of days ago, I saw the Musselberg hat in hand spun yarn make along over on Tangles and Starlight's Instagram. She's known as Stitches and Starlight here on YouTube. And I thought, are all the great minds thinking alike? So of course, we are going to do just that. Or, well, not entirely, because here's the caveat. I'm a cheapskate, aka feel guilty every time I splurge money, even though I am all for paying for my patterns. I found one that is surprisingly similar to the Musselberg hat and is for free. And because it is actually quite a simple pattern, I do not feel so very guilty of choosing the free version. Anyway, I will link it in the description box. It's by Drops slash Garn Studio. Now, before we can turn all of this into a hat, we must turn it into cakes. Will this be enough? Maybe, maybe not. But that's the beauty of hand spindles. I can make more whenever and wherever I want. Me. Let's make cakes and not drop them on the floor. With like my new table construction, I had no overhang on the side, so I had to put my Swift and my skein winder over here. So weird camera angles are go. Lovely color palette. It's a perfectly gloomy autumn day, so let's cast on this very colorful hat. This is a box with vintage knitting needles that were previously owned by my grandmom, my Boma. I'm going to try and find some DPNs that match the pattern. Oh, and by the way, the pattern is the Edge of Twilight hat by Drops slash Garden Studio. In Belgium, you know that stuff is actually old when the price is still in francs. Four and a half millimeter double pointed needles were 132 francs, which would amount to um, somewhere between three and four euros right now. The pattern actually calls for four and a half millimeter needles. Now, I have spun this yarn actually quite thin. I will see whether I can use it just as one single strand of yarn, or maybe I will have to pick two yarns together to knit, which will also, I think, make quite a cool and colorful effect. We shall see. Let's make, and I know, this is novel, a gauge watch. I'm really not used to having such long, flappy knitting implements. Mostly I knit with circular needles, which are short, but I don't know why, but I really wanted to use my grandmom's needles right now. That's the only explanation I've got. Yep, yep, yep. The 18 stitches are giving me 10 centimeters. And now the novelty of making a gauge swatch has worn off. I'm not going to do the lengthwise gauge because this is the kind of pattern that just says 
continue until the piece measures 55 centimeters. So I don't think it's really important as to how many rows that get into that 55 centimeters. More important than the gauge numbers to me was, do I like the fabric that I am creating with these needles? Is it not too big holes? Is it not too dense? I don't know. For me, I feel like this is a good fabric. It is very lightweight and a little bit holy, not too much. But as this is a hat that we will have to fold over and double, you don't want it to be too dense and structured. You want it to be quite light so that you don't have like this big a head or something. Anyway, um, these needles are the way to go. And you might call blasphemy, but I am reclaiming the yarn that I used to gauge watch with. Let's cast on for real now, but maybe we can do that in much cozier circumstances than this. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see how far we get before we have to bust the spindles back out, because I'm quite sure that we will have to. I'm, um, I'm convinced. What do you, what's your bet? Will we have already spun enough yarn or will we need more? Before we continue, put your answers down in the comments. They are quite large, these needles. <laughs> A little bit cumbersome. Nothing we can't handle, of course. So now after I wanted to do the muscle bug make along but not use the muscle bug pattern and then use a garden studio pattern i'm now also straying from that pattern are you surprised i think not um the pattern increases with yarn overs and personally that's my least favorite way of increasing i much prefer the make one right make one left uh, way of increasing so i'm just doing that I don't know, it's just about having fun. Knitting is just about having fun. Also that, ah, uh, that is so nostalgic. Like I felt so much um, connected to this abstract sense of ancestors while I was spinning the yarn. And now I feel so connected to this concrete sense of ancestry with these metal needles. Because my grandmom always used metal needles and you heard her ding, 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 like all day, every day. So I am nearly through my first little skein of yarn and I am positively surprised with how much hat we already have. Pat, pat, pat. Very good. Now this possibly was one of the bigger ones where it was um, two spindles full plied together. I don't know, we'll see. But now comes a very difficult choice. What color do we pick next? This? Yeah, I might, I might take this one. I'm starting my fifth color right now. I started this project at four o'clock this afternoon. It is now nine. This is five hours of continuous straight work. Yes, continuous. I didn't go to the bathroom. I didn't eat dinner. I might also not have been drinking anything. Don't worry, going to fix all that now. I'm not hungry. I had a big, big lunch. I'm going to drink some milk before I go to bed. I'm really tired. I should go to bed. I don't know what I'm saying. Why am I even sharing this with you? I wasn't quite sure whether I would do the big, bold stripes of color or maybe like do smaller stripes. But I'm, 
I just went for it and I like it. Yeah. The only thing that I don't quite like as much is that the alpaca, the brown, is much thinner than the other yarns and you see where I change needles. That would have been not a case if I used circular needles, but yeah, I went with this and I'm still going with it. I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. A little progress report on my Edge of Twilight hat. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. We're bigger than my head already and I am only right now using the warm tones of my hand spindle spun yarns. I still have like quite an array of greens and blues but I think it would be real nice to save them for the uh, second half of the head so that when you turn it, when you flip it around you have one warm autumn toned head and then the other side could be a colder toned, more wintry, snowflake type of color. Yeah, that's, um, that's what I'm thinking right now. Are you also seeing the end result in your mind's eye? Because I'm imagining it, clearly. But I'm speechless about how neat my spindle spun yarn looks knit up. I hadn't expected it. I had expected it to be maybe a little bit more slubby, but there is almost no slubs in this. This is neat. Love it. Up to more stripes. Before we get taken too far along by just sheer enjoyment of this knitting process, let's measure. Okay. We're at 45 centimeters right now. That means we need 10 more before we can start decreasing and finish this hat. And yes, you did hear me correctly. I did say sheer knitting enjoyment, even though this is a super plain pattern and actually also plain yarns. But I'm having so much fun with this. Also just look at it. Isn't this just gorgeous? Ah, I'm just so excited that this is my spindle spun yarn. I don't know why this feels so different from knitting with my hand spun like on the wheel. Maybe because I have been doing that for two years now and regularly wearing stuff that I make with that. Like this sweater that I'm wearing right now. Maybe I'll take off my aprons. I like actually almost forgot it existed and it's completely hand spun. But this is mm, so novel. I love it. I then transferred my work onto some circular needles because I didn't want to stab my husband while he was driving the car. Could have caused accidents, you know. Um, but I immediately regretted it because I had come to the point where I had to decrease. Yeah, um, DPNs are much more useful when you are decreasing. dead people. We're not sure if he's real though. Looks a bit clay to me. I don't know, I'll look it up.
we've got our big tube. It's all closed up now. But we didn't make a tube, no, did we? We make a hat. So we're going to fold the sides, well, the tippy toppies together. If the wind allows me to, because it's a very blustery day here in Spain. Um, one that really calls for a nice warm hat. So here we go. Fold over a little brim. I talk weird because I'm doing stuff at the same time and then ha ha ta freaking da Yeah Look at that Okay time for some glamour shots Uh-huh, what do you say? A four-way hat. If you counted all the ways I wore it in the glamour shots correctly. Though I must say, if I don't fold up the brim and wear it like a beanie, it's a little bit loose. It's a little bit um, too big. But of course it is a perfect fit whenever I turn on the brim. I also have a slight preference to wearing it with the warm colors on top, cold tones on the bottom, on the brim. Um, yeah, I didn't entirely go one side warm, one side cold, because I just had less of the cold colors. And right now it is... Maybe that's because I'm here and I'm experiencing all these things, but it reminds me of the Catalonian surroundings the brown and the beige and then the blue skies but then also the yellow and the more pinkish vibes from the mountains in golden hour i don't know this is the slowest of slow fashion that i have created a garment made entirely out of spindle spun yarns as our ancestors would have done thousands of years before us and I'm so happy with it. I'm so, so genuinely happy with it. And even though I say it is the slowest of slow fashions, I'm actually surprised that I still have yarn left over. I made more yarn than I actually imagined with my spindles. So, hmm, that's actually some uh, pretty fast spinning. If you are interested in some more spindle spun adventures, I can recommend this here video. And otherwise, if you like this kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. But of course, that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Bye.